Mentoring relationships are typically mentee-led. That's because relationships typically get the best results when the mentee has ownership over the objectives and engagement. But many mentees struggle leading that relationship because they don't know what to say. Self-direction and self-advocacy are skills that just might not have been leveraged yet in a mentee's career journey. Hey, I'm Rebecca. Welcome to Mentoring Masterminds, where we combine the expert level insights we've gained as the top rated mentoring software provider with real world best practices from mentoring program leaders at top organizations. This video will help your mentees get jump started with some simple yet effective questions that can generate excellent mentoring conversations. Be sure to like and subscribe so you know when we release new content every week and hang on until the end for an extra video clip you won't want to miss. Creating a successful mentoring relationship can seem complicated, but it doesn't have to be with just a few tips to keep in mind. First, we know it might seem strange to ask your mentor questions about mentoring, but most people serving as mentors are doing so because they once had a great mentor that helped them succeed. Ask your mentor questions related to how mentoring has worked for them. It will help put you in the right mindset, and some questions you can ask related to mentoring as a concept include, why did you want to become a mentor? What do you want to get out of this mentoring relationship? How do you want me to communicate with you? How can I best prepare for my meetings with you? Your mentor will be happy to offer insight on how you can get the most out of their relationships with them. Professional experience is the hallmark of a good workplace mentor. You can gain an exceptional amount of insight from your mentor by asking questions about their professional experiences. These questions dig into what it takes to be successful, helps you identify goals you might not even be aware of, and helps you reflect on what you need to continue your path to success. Here are some questions you may want to ask. What skills make the most sense for me to obtain? How do I gain the skills I need? Where do I find the right professional networks? And what complementary soft skills would help me succeed? Don't forget that professional experience is a broad topic. Each person's pathway to success would be different, so you can potentially learn many tips, tricks, and insights from your mentor that you wouldn't get from any other source. Many mentees make the mistake of thinking that a mentoring relationship must be super formal or that it can only focus on career development. Who you are as a person in your personal development plays a critical role in how effective you are as a career professional. Ask questions that get to the heart of your personal development in ways that connect who you are as a person with your personal goals and professional aspirations. Questions that get you right into the issue might include, how do I manage work-life balance? How frequently should I use my PTO? How do I stay focused when working from home? While you shouldn't be afraid to get personal in your mentoring relationships, always communicate comfort levels first. Discuss with your mentor what type of topics they're comfortable discussing with you first. Asking the right questions establishes a stronger relationship with your mentor, leading to incredible success and in opening up endless possibilities for career development. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Enjoy this clip from a mentoring champion in our community who highlights why establishing strong mentoring relationships is so important. My first real mentor in a corporate space was an individual responsible for hiring me at Fox Networks Group and she hired me as a vice president to essentially change the culture of career opportunity for our workforce. In our industry in Hollywood it's very competitive <clears throat> and I was one of the younger vice presidents in the company and that was an uphill battle in and of itself. But she, as a head of HR, a very busy slate, took time out of her day, multiple days in fact, to essentially and guide me around these different offices to executives to learn the unspoken rules, the cultural norms, you know, very vividly. And I share this anecdote. She said before we went to the CEO's office, you can't go to the fifth floor without a suit jacket. Mm -hmm. But if you wear a suit jacket anywhere else, mm -hmm. it's going to be out of place, right? Just the little just the things, little the little nonsense. things. Right, yeah. right. And by virtue of just watching her interact with these folks and giving me that face time with these leaders, my first 90 days could not have gone more smoothly Right, and I think it's Michael Watkins who wrote the book, The First yes. 90 Days. Yeah. You know, and I had this great game plan, but would have, it would have all been for naught without her guidance and hands-on support. And to, you know, 
to your point, she's on my advisory board yeah. and such a wonderful human, so I'm very grateful for her. Her name is Ruth Ann Herman. I think she's now with uh, the NFL. What questions do you think help get the most out of our mentoring relationships? Let us know in the comments below. Mentoring software can help make sure the mentors and mentees are matched into relationships that are more likely to succeed. But there's still an element of relationship building that needs to happen. Coming prepared with effective discussion questions will make sure you get the most out of the mentoring relationship from start to finish. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to visit us at MentorClick.com and follow us on LinkedIn for more mentoring program insights and advice.